So I'm here with Gavin O'Donnell. He's a member of the Centralia College baseball team. And Gavin, you know, it's the alumni game, and although it's your first year with Centralia, what's it like to see these guys who have played in the past and are coming back and representing the college? Oh, you know, it's great to see a lot of guys coming out. It shows they've got a lot of support for the program. You know, it left a good impression on them, and so I'm happy that they're out here, you know, playing with us, showing us how they love the game. You know, and then obviously it's fall ball, so records don't count and, and stats don't count, right. but you know, still a chance to improve and focus on certain things individually. What are you trying to improve upon and really kind of uh, build for yourself as you get ready for spring? Um, you know, I'm a catcher, and so I'm behind the plate. i got got to be the leader out there, and so I'm kind of working on my leadership skills, being more vocal, you know, leading the team and doing what I can do back there. Yeah, and then, you know, coming in, obviously this this program has a new head coach, mostly a new coaching staff, and, right. you know, it's your first year as well. So what's, what things have you seen and what things have you been excited about um, with the new uh, coaching staff here? Oh, it's we've got great energy. You know, they come out here and they fire us up and they do everything they can to motivate us. Um, they're giving us all the tools to be successful and giving us drills, you know. They're doing everything right, and I'm really excited for this year. Awesome. And then, you know, here you are at this level, and, you know, to play at this level, you know, you got to earn it, you got to work hard for it, right. you know, and you got to be motivated. But is there someone in your life that, as you're growing up, really pushed you and, and inspired you to be the best? Um, you know, I'd have to say my dad. He, he didn't play college baseball, but he felt like he should have, and he kind of, you know, told me his regrets and wishing how he played and kind of just motivated me and just made me want to play. Yeah, and then, you know, obviously playing the game for as long as you can, enjoy it for as long as you can. And, you know, and then for, you know, a lot of players that are growing up, they also get to see, you know, Major League Baseball players. And um, is there a player that you looked at and say, you know, I kind of like the way they approach the game, the way they, um, you know, attack the ball? Is someone you just wanted to mimic as you were growing up? Um, I was always a fan of Yachty. You know, he does everything right back there, man. It's just all the little things. Um, and so, you know, a lot of people don't notice all the little things. And I, growing up, I was always picking out those, like, just little tidbits that he did right and stuff like that. Yeah, probably one of the best, one of the greatest defensive catchers I've ever seen. Um, and I've been able to see a few in my lifetime. So, yeah, he's definitely definitely up there. I think he's a Hall of Famer as well. So, um, you know, last question I have for you. You see a lot of kids running around the ballparks, obviously, and, you know, playing the game. What advice do you have for them as they're trying to make it to the college level like you? Have fun with it. You know, there's plenty of programs, plenty of opportunities. You know, go out there, have a good time. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, it's all about having fun. So, Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.